Okay, so persuasive design is an area of design practice that focuses on influencing human behavior through a product or services characteristics. It is based on psychological and social theories that originate from behaviorism. And designers are tailoring the user experience by including persuasive elements in increasingly discrete ways. The field of persuasive design is developing its frameworks to support designers in making suitable design decisions. So question to you, can you remember which two models we reviewed uh, to understand how persuasive design works? And if you remember, please share in the chat which two models we reviewed to understand how persuasive design works. Please share in the chat. And uh, to help you, uh, they're about how we develop habits, how, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't wanna say more cause I'm gonna give it out. And I'm trying to look at the chat box at the moment and I can't see it. Uh, now I see. Thank you. Yes, Denise, you're saying the hook model, fantastic. So does Roberta Neo or Yal's model. So yes, this is one of them. There is one more uh, by, that's it, BJ Fogg. Thank you, Richard. Perfect, perfect. So let me go to my next slide. Um, and I'm starting with the Fogg model. So uh, this is BJ Fogg who in his own words said behavior, and let me show it in a moment. Behavior uh, happens when motivation, ability and a prompt or a trigger in our words come together at the same moment. And this is how it works. The higher your motivation is, the more likely you are going to do something. Okay, um, you're out of two minutes. Um, what's one like uh -huh. most important thing that we need to remember about this topic as coaches? Okay, in your so opinion? one is, yeah, the model about uh, how motivation, ability, and triggers work to prompt the behavior. And the second one is the hook model that you've got a, a trigger, internal or external, that leads to an action reinforced by variable reward and then uh, the investment that keeps you going back into the, the circle there. Um, I had examples of good and bad uh, persuasive design. Both boxes obviously uh, equal here and here you've got to check. Um, and I was giving my own example of um, headspace with a run streak, so persuasive design of do one day of meditation, three all the way to 365. Um, and yeah, how it worked with me. And then I close with addictive design where it's the dark side of persuasive design where you're spending a lot more time on technology than you had planned to. It's taking over your life. It can cause, to extremes, it can cause depression. And this is the case where the goals of the user are very different from, and in conflict with the goals of the company. So the economy of distraction in less than two minutes. So services like YouTube, if I was to sum it up, um, services, oh, it's not moving. Services like YouTube um, get cash when you give your eyeballs. It's then their interest to get you to watch their um, videos and uh, as much as possible. So every time you watch, they get um, money. So they don't want you to do this. They don't want you to focus on your long-term goals and be happy um, in that way. It's a little bit cynical, um, but what they want you to do is to do this. So they want your eyeballs on cat videos and whatever um, switches your, your boat. So, um, because you're worth something to them. And here's what you are worth. Um, well, YouTube, which obviously is part of Google, is worth 160 billion and there are 2 billion uh, users, active users. And so each of those users, each of those eyeballs are worth $80. And so whilst that might don't, not sound like much, um, you're not giving them that money. So they, you're paying with your data. And so your value is measured by things like KPIs, so views, likes, subscribes, um, length of videos watched, active users, etc. And so, 
to sum up the economy of distraction, um, YouTube needs your eyeballs to fulfill their business model to make more money. So it is the economy of distraction. The more distracted you are, the more money they get. Awesome. This is really, really great. Well done.